So Stephanie. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my that is so Going through intense. this right now in real time. So I'm trying to get my adrenaline to calm down. That was literally one of the scariest things that I've ever been through. I, I can't even tell you. The car was racing through the crowd. You saw it there. Um, and it was just so surreal. And everybody started yelling, get out of the way, get out of the way. I think there were some bicycles that might have been hit. Fortunately, everyone just had the presence of mind. You saw people scrambling to jump out of the way. Um, I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. Let's see. Let's see what's going on over here, you guys. There's some people over here. Let's see if we can talk to some other people. Um, let's see if we can talk to some people that might have. They're taking statements. Sure, no problem. They're taking statements right now. It is very chaotic, as you might understand. So we're all just kind of trying to sort through. Did you guys see that? No. Were you guys outside? Okay. Oh, you did? Okay, okay. Let's talk to. Where's Justin, uh, my photographer? Oh, can, can we have you come over here, sir? Okay, so what you're looking at now are the police taking statements of these people here. Um, we're going to find out if anyone was injured, but let's talk to this gentleman here because he said he saw what happened. We're live here on Channel 11. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Okay, what is your name, sir? Brandon Yamawaki. Okay, and Brandon, take us back to that moment. What did you see? Well, I was riding along. And all of a sudden, I heard people starting to scream. And before I knew it, I saw this this uh, T.C. Cooper coming down, raging. This guy on his face, man, the the rage on his face. He was just he was determined to kill somebody. Oh. He went right through me. I almost I had to throw my bike in between me and the car before it hit me. And then uh, I looked to the right. He kept spinning down, and there were three children right in the way. And one of the kids was in the back seat. He had a toddler no more than like 15 months. Hit the back of that bike, almost killed that child. Oh my God, we ran up to there. They pulled the child out, the child was stunned. It was, it was insane. You know, I came down here expecting a peaceful protest and I didn't think I'd see anything like that. No, it, I can see you shaking still. Yeah, it, I was not expecting, he almost ran me over. I had to throw right. my bike in between that. He was going and down. Is this your bike here? Did, it, did he hit your bike at all? He no, I don't, I don't, I don't know if he hit my bike. Everything happened so quickly, right. you know. I got it on cam. I'm streaming live, on Twitter, so you can find me on there. That's Surflick, at Surflick. You can find me there, and uh, yeah, you can see the video and judge it for yourself. That was horrible. Yeah. I'm still shaking. I know. Yeah. I mean, we were also live. I think we were a couple steps in front of you. Thank God, people behind us started yelling, "Get out of the way!" Um, yes. Breaking news here. Uh, that suspect that person is in this Newport Beach police vehicle in the back seat right there. Uh, that is the person they believe uh, did this. We are at 7th Street and West Bay Avenue and let me let me have you come right over here Justin because this is the vehicle. This is the Mini Cooper with Arizona plates and uh, if we can kind of spin around here you can see some damage on the front of this vehicle right here. Um, but yes, this person was apprehended here, Newport Beach. He is in custody. And of course, police are conducting a full investigation. Let's go ahead, though, and re-rack uh, that video again and, and show you um, what, what was happening as protesters were peacefully marching on Balboa Avenue. Here we go. Yeah. And you, uh, you can just feel the terror of that moment. Um, it's really a miracle that no one was seriously hurt uh, or even killed for that matter. Um, we did talk to, of course, uh, Carly Pletcher. She was on her bike when her bike was struck, she says, by this vehicle. And we also had some other reaction from some folks who witnessed it firsthand. Let's go ahead and roll that tape. Right now joining me, um, gracious enough to join me, is Carly Pletcher. Uh, she was in this crowd. Uh, this is her bike here behind us. Carly, tell us what happened from your vantage point. As all of us are walking and myself biking, uh, crazed man in a Mini Cooper comes flying the other direction, intentionally weaving to try and hit the crowd and hit me, hit multiple other people behind me and ruined my bike. And 
So you were you were on your bike and you felt the impact. You can see that the tire is bent up there. Um, what happened next? Did you fall down? Did your bike fall down? What did you do? I jumped off it and they grabbed me. Straight down. I got foot, footage on my phone. You got footage of him being being apprehended. No, uh, they're gonna cuff him probably anytime soon. Okay. Go okay. Seventh Street. Take a left to Bay. Okay. You'll so find you, him. You guys. Okay. You guys. Okay. Okay. I Stephanie saw will give him lying to the police, um, trying to say that the protesters were hitting his car and, and assaulting him. And uh, I saw it from my balcony, so I set them straight. It was purposeful. I saw him step on that gas. I saw him hit people, uh, roll bikes, children were running. Uh, that guy didn't care. Sick. That right. guy didn't care. No lives matter to him. Okay, oh. sir, um, don't... Wow. And back out here live, you are looking at the back of a Newport Beach police vehicle in which uh, this individual, the person they believe is responsible for this, is sitting in that back seat there. Um, it is just a terrifying moment. And, and uh, you know, that gentleman that we just talked to there, he was the one that told us to come down here. So mm -hmm. we actually jumped in a vehicle of a, a resident. He was a good Samaritan. He was able to drive us down here mm. so that we could make it down here so quickly because we are probably a good eight blocks, eight blocks away. So that's how okay. we were able to get here so quickly. And you know, it, you are seeing with situations like that, you are seeing this community come together. You're seeing people helping the police. You're seeing people jumping in, trying to do what they can. And um, you know, that good Samaritan was kind enough to bring us down here. So even despite all of this, uh, you know, again, no one, no one was seriously hurt or killed. Good news there. And you are seeing the community come together to say this is absolutely unacceptable.